Hi, it's YC here from YC Cooks and Bakes. Today I am going to be making white chili for supper. And I thought you might like to see how I do that. So I have my pot warming up and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in. Okay. And now I'm gonna put in some minced garlic and don't worry, I'll have all this in the description. Just in case you wanted to try the recipe. And you're going to cook the garlic until it turns fragrant. And I can smell the garlic aroma, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my chopped onion. This is one whole medium to large yellow onion, in case you're wondering what kind I'm using. like some of it got chopped up better than other pieces. That's okay. It'll break down. We haven't had white chili in a while. I usually make the other kind. I like the other kind better. As soon as this cooks up a bit, we'll go ahead and add some chicken that I have chopped. And you want about two to three chicken breasts. If they're huge, you only need a couple. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in the chicken. That I have diced up. Turn it up a little bit. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're interested in doing this recipe or you'd like to copy it down from the description or if you would like to give white chili a try. Please comment, like, and subscribe so that you can get all my recipes at your fingertips. I love this time of year because you can, you know, make all the soups and stews and that kind of thing that just warms you up.
I'll go ahead and go over the spices with you. So you want a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and you want about a teaspoon of ground cumin and uh, about two teaspoons of oregano and what a little bit more garlic uh, for the chicken and the rest of the veggies and stuff that you might want to put in here and you know a lot of the stuff that you put in here was at your discretion and you want two pinches of cayenne and some crushed red pepper and I'll make sure that I put all those into the description with the recipe. I'm going to go ahead and put them in at this time so they can flavor those chicken pieces and everything will taste good. Bringing on all that flavor. Just a minute or so more on the chicken. You can see it's almost white and it's harnessed all those beautiful herbs and spices so that we can have great flavor in our white chili. I hope you're still able to see it's it's uh, I didn't mean to knock you but I won't uh, I don't want you to be so fogged up that you can't see what I'm doing in other words <laughs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, 48 ounces of broth at this time. This is the big wide box that I'm using and uh, today's ingredients do come from Aldi. I hadn't shot there in a while but I really need to tighten this budget up and um, I get angry when they don't have everything but I knew that they would have these ingredients and so I was okay with trying to get this done and uh, get a nice meal together okay all right so now you see that we have our uh, garlic and onion and chicken and our beautiful herbs so we can go ahead and put in the rest of our ingredients at this time. And that will be, let me go get them, the, uh, three cans, you know, 15 ounce cans of cannellini, cannellini beans, if I'm saying that right. Okay, that I have rinsed off. Go ahead and get those in at this time. And you know in the dark red chili that I use with beef, I always put like kidney beans and chili beans. And so today, since it's white chili, I'm using the white cannellini beans. Yep. Oh, it's starting to look good because I'm gonna simmer this for probably two and a half to three hours on low. Uh, you can do it for just 30 to 40 minutes if you know you're running behind but I think it would taste better if you let it go longer okay now we're gonna add two four ounce cans of green chilies see yeah 
There we go. Let's see if I can get that last little bit out. Get this. Another one. Okay. I also put in about a half a cup of parsley. Now, I'll tell you what's really good in this is cilantro. Unfortunately, my husband does not like cilantro. I love it, but I also love this and I'm willing to use this so, so that he would be able to have some. Uh, he just doesn't care for cilantro and a lot of people don't, that's fine. I'm putting in about a half a cup of parsley. There we go. Okay, and there you have it. I'm going to keep this on a low for a good little while. And this will be our supper tonight. And I'm going to serve it with Monterey cheese that I'm going to shred up. And um, little, I think like white tortilla chips. I'll go get them and show you. Okay, so we're going to use these up. You've seen these before, those kind of white tortilla chips. And these ones came from Aldi also. And that's what we'll use with uh, Monterey cheese on top. So it will be nice. It will be good. Nice and delicious. And a nice warm meal for a cool night. It's nice and sunny here right now in South Carolina but it is supposed to, you know, cool down quite a bit later. And that's my white chili. And I thank you for coming along. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.